Well, praise the Lord. We are going to continue our study tonight on creation praising God. We've started a series on praise and worship, and I am so excited about this series. I have longed to teach this series for a long time, and Joyce and Leah has been asking me to teach mm -hmm. it, and so I'm just so excited to finally start our series on praise and worship. And we're going to divide it in sections and do different types of praise and worship, different aspects. And I don't know about you, but until I started studying, I did not realize that all of creation had a voice mm -hmm. and all of creation praises and worships the Lord. That's why God created mm -hmm. every creature every plant, every animal, everything God created has a voice. And it was created for the sole purpose to praise and worship yes. mm -hmm. the Father. Amen. Worship its creator. That's why we was created. Yes. To praise, to worship mm -hmm. our creator. Mm -hmm. And so... We're going to begin by reading Psalms chapter 148, and then we're going to break it down and talk about each verse. Psalms chapter 148. It's all about praise and worship. That's mm -hmm. the main thrust of this entire psalm. It's the main subject of this entire 14 verses of this wonderful psalm is praising and worshiping God. And I've got a little footnote right under the word Psalm 148. All of creation praises God. I wrote that in, in my Bible years ago. And that's what this psalm is about. It's about all of creation praising their creator. Verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He hath also established, the King James says, or established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons in all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, Praise ye the Lord. Isn't that psalm awesome? Mm -hmm, yes. I told you, every verse, every one of these 14 verses is nothing but praising mm -hmm, yes. the right. Lord. Did you realize that there is praise and worship going on mm -hmm. in heaven at this very moment, look at verses 1 and 2. Let's read them again. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Where? From the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him who all his angels. Praise ye him all his hosts. Different Hebrew words. It's not talking about angels. Both of these words are different Hebrew words. Who is praising God in heaven right now? All of his angels. Mm -hmm. And who else? His, his All host. of his hosts. Who are his hosts? 
This word host, if you look it up in the Hebrew, it means an army organized for war. An army organized for war. That's what this word host in Hebrew means. So who is this army? It can't be the angels because it separates the two. Praise mm -hmm. ye him, all his angels, and praise ye him, all his host. So who is this host? Who is this army organized for war? It's the army, army of, of the Lord, Lord of hosts. Yep. All of the saints. All of the saints who have died in the Lord. Who will return with the Lord Jesus Christ at his second coming. Mm -hmm. So who is praising God? All of heaven. Yes. Now, at this moment, is erupting in thunderous praise unto their creator. All of heaven, all of the angels, and all of the hosts are the saints of God, are praising their creator. And I often say, if you don't like praise and worship mm -hmm. music, then there's no need of you going to heaven. <laughs> you, don't, you won't be happy in heaven yeah. if you don't like praise and worship music. Music because that is what is taking place in heaven 24 7 continually the, the, yes. the living creatures are flying around the throne crying holy holy oh, holy Lord God Almighty mm -hmm. the living creatures are praising God that's why they were created by the Father is to give praise to him continually Yes. So if you don't like praise and worship music, you're going to be unhappy in heaven. <laughs> and uh, ever, all of the, the denominational people, I, I tell them when I, when I talk to one of them that, that don't believe in, in praising God, there's one whole denomination yes. that don't believe in music. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. They don't have music in their churches. Yeah. And uh, for all those people that don't like singing and don't like to praise God, I tell them you're going to have 30 minutes when you get to heaven. <laughs> God's going to give you 30 minutes of silence. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that there's going to be 30 minutes mm -hmm. of silence in heaven. Yeah. So if you don't like to praise and worship, you're going to be happy. You're going to get to enjoy 30 minutes of quiet it's total silence but then pandemonium is going to break loose forever and forever and forever and forever that is what we will be doing throughout eternity is giving mm. praise and honor to our father God and to Jesus who gave his life for us so think about it think about it in heaven they aren't singing songs like I'll fly away, oh glory, or when we all get to heaven, or some glad morning, <laughs> or any of those other songs from the Baptist hymnal and the Methodist hymnal. Why aren't they singing those songs in heaven? No need to, because no, they're already no, there. Yeah. No need of singing songs of when we all get to heaven and then some glad day after a while. No, and then I'll fly away. Way. No, because they're already there. So they're not going to be singing those songs. So why don't we join in with heaven and Amen. sing yes. praise and worship songs and join in with that heavenly host that's before the throne of God, worshiping the Lord continually. Amen. All of heaven is erupting in continuous praise unto Amen. God the Father and unto the Son. They, they are created beings who were created for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to praise God, yes. to worship their creator. How do we know this? Look at your handout. Revelation chapter 4, verses 8 through 11. I mentioned them a minute ago, Revelation 4, 8 through 11. And the four beasts, the King James says, a lot of your translations will say living creatures. 
The four beasts, or the four living creatures, had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night. Why don't they rest? Because they're busy <laughs> praising and worshiping God. What are they saying? Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which was and is and yes. is to come. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when those beasts or living creatures give glory and honor, Honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever verse 10 then the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and do what worship him that liveth forever and ever and what do those 24 elders do when they fall on their face before God the Father they remove their crowns from off their heads and they cast their crowns before the throne. They lay them at God the Father's feet. And what do they do? They begin to worship. They say, verse 11, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created how many things? All Some things. things? A few things? No, Thou hast created all things. And why did God create all things? And for thy pleasure they are and were created. All of heaven, think about it, all of heaven is having a hallelujah hoedown right this very moment. And when the beast or the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks unto him, then the 24 elders fall down and they worship God the Father. Glory! So why don't we join in and with them begin to worship mm -hmm. and praise our Creator. Why don't we join in with them? That's what heaven's doing is praising and worshiping their Creator. So why don't we down here on earth join in with them and praise and worship our Creator? Instead of singing songs about Jesus and about the Lord, why don't we sing songs to him. Amen. That's what praise and worship is, yeah. is singing songs to the Lord, ministering to him, loving him, worshiping him. If those in heaven praise God, then it is God's will for us down here on earth to praise him also. Jesus said to pray this way, Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Yep. Jesus said, you are to pray, thy kingdom come, your kingdom come, Father, thy will be done, where? In earth, earth as it is in mm -hmm. heaven. Yes. Think about it. The will of God is being carried out mm -hmm. in heaven. So why don't we carry out God's will down here on earth by praising and worshiping yeah. Yeah. our Creator. Amen. Now look at Psalms 148 verses 3 through 6. We've, we've talked about in verses 1 and 2, the angels and the host. All of the saints that have gone on to be with the Lord. Heaven is praising God. Now, verse 3 through 6. Praise ye Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all ye stars of light. Praise Him, ye heavens, plural, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Why? For He commanded, and they were created. He hath also established or established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass or cease. Creation has a voice and all of creation is praising and worshiping their creator. Think about it. These verses tell us the sun, the moon, and the stars are praising God. The billions and trillions mm. of stars. Mm. We see them twinkling. Mm -hmm. And if 
we didn't have spiritual earwax and if we could hear with our spiritual ears we, we could hear those stars singing praise unto their creator and it look it says in verse 4 the heavens mm -hmm. plural are praising God. We know that there's more than one heaven. We've talked about it in earlier studies. We know there's, that there are at least three heavens, the scripture says, because Paul, you remember we, we studied it before, Paul talks about being caught up where? To the third heaven. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse two. Paul writing to the church at Corinth. And Paul says, I knew a man in Christ. He's talking about himself. Mm -hmm. I knew a man in Christ above or over 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. Paul said, hey, over 14 years ago, I don't know if my spirit left my body. Or I don't know if my spirit remained in my body and I just had an open vision. I don't know which it was, Paul said. But he says, such a one caught up where? To the third heaven. So we know that there are at least three heavens. There's the lower heavens where the birds and the airplanes fly, where we live, the atmosphere, the air that we breathe. Then there's the stellar heaven where the stars, the sun, the planets are. And then there's the third heaven where God the Father and Jesus the Son and the angels and the saints that have gone on to be with the Lord. They are in that third heaven. So not only are the heavens of heavens, plural, all of the heavenlies, not only are they praising God, but the waters, verse 4, that are above the heavens are also praising God. Now think about it. Waters above the heavens. We know that there has to be water in the atmosphere and the heavenlies because there's got to be water or vapor in the clouds because it falls from heaven down here to earth and waters the earth. It falls in the form of rain, sleet, snow. So we know that there is water up in the atmosphere and even the water is praising God. <laughs> now why is the sun, moon, stars, heavens of heavens, and the waters above the heavens, why are they praising God? Because verse 5 says, he, God, commanded, and they were created. God spoke. He said, light be. He spoke, and light began to expand. And it's still expanding east and west at the speed of, what, 186,000 mm -hmm. miles per second. Wow. And as light expands, galaxies are expanding. Mm -hmm. Scientists, astronomers are still discovering new planets, new galaxies, new star systems as they develop the technology for stronger and stronger telescopes to see further out in space. They're, they are seeing new planets, new star systems that weren't there before. Hallelujah! Why? Is all of the heavens of heavens praising God? Because God commanded, he spoke, and they were created. And they are lifting up their voice in praise to their creator. Now look at verse 7 of Psalms 148. Praise the Lord from the earth. The King James says, ye dragons and all deeps. That's a little unclear. The Living Bible says, and praise him down here on earth, you creatures of the ocean depths. Mm -hmm. So all of the fish in the, in the lakes and every creature in the oceans and seas is praising God. Mm -hmm. Every creature down 
in the total blackness at the bottom of the oceans where it's too deep for man to go. There are fish that live in the total blackness, total darkness. They don't even have eyes. Mm -hmm. Why? They don't need eyes. It's total black, yeah. total darkness where they live. They live their whole life in total darkness, never seeing not one flicker of light. And those fish down there in total darkness are praising God. Hallelujah. Amen. Every creature, every creature on earth and all of the living creatures in the oceans, in the seas, all of the fish in the lakes. They are praising and worshiping their creator. Psalms chapter 69 verse 34 says, Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moveth therein. All the living creatures in the seas, in the oceans, in the, in the lakes, the streams are praising God. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Psalms chapter 98 verses 4 through 8 says, Make a joyful noise. What kind of noise? Joy. Joyful noise. Do, do they say, well, praise God. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Like we do. Yeah. I wish this service would hurry and get uh -huh. over. I want to go home. Uh -oh. <laughs> Kick my feet up in my recliner and get me a cup of coffee. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, praise him. No, this says, make a joyful noise unto yes. the Lord. All the earth. Make a quiet noise. A whisper. Make a loud noise. And do what? Rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord. Now we get into the instruments and the denomination that don't believe that you're supposed to praise God with the instruments. They have no musical instruments in their services. Mm -hmm. This verse says, Sing unto the Lord with the instruments accompanying your voice, with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm with trumpets and sound of coronet make a joyful noise unto the lord the king hallelujah let the sea roar and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein look at verse 8 i love this let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. <laughs> Glory. Oh, All the earth is praising God with a quiet mm -mm. whisper. No. no, with a loud voice. What are they doing? Singing, rejoicing, mm -hmm. making a joyful noise unto God, their creator. The saints... We, us sins, we uns mm -hmm. are to sing praise mm -hmm. to God and sing praise to Him with the harp, the trumpets, the coronet, the drums, mm -hmm. the guitars. Yep. yep. Every type of musical instrument that has been created, God gave some man the knowledge the, mm -hmm. of witty inventions, the ability to create that musical instrument. Why? So that musical instrument can praise and worship the Lord right along with the saints. I love it. Creation has a voice. All of creation is lifting up its voice in praise to its creator. Just look at verses 7 and 8. Look at it again. Praise the Lord from the earth. Ye dragons are creatures that in the oceans, in all of the seas, fire and hail, snow and vapors, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. The seas and the fullness thereof, everything in the seas, everything in the lakes, mm -hmm. all of the living creatures in any type of water. They are erupting in praise to their creator. And the world, it says, and all they that dwell therein. That's us. Yep. Everything God created in the whole world is praising and worshiping God. And it says 
All the floods are clapping their hands in thunderous praise to their creator. Think about the sound of that babbling brook, the water running over the rocks, the babbling brook, that sound that is created. We can hear that, but if we could hear in the realm of the spirit, that water is saying, praise God. Praise you, God. Praise you, my creator. You spoke and I was created. If we could only hear, but we can hear the sound in the natural of that water running mm -hmm. over the rocks. That brook is praising God by clapping its hands unto him, as this verse says. Now, Psalms 148 verse 8 says, Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. God's word. Another translation. I like this one. It says, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding. Mm. Just think, all of the elements of nature, they obey God's every command. Jesus, what did he do? He spoke to that raging storm on the sea. And what did he say? Peace, be still. And it obeyed him. How, how did it know to obey him? Because it had a voice. It heard the, the command of its creator say, peace, be still. When? Cease. And it obeyed its creator. Verse 9. Mountains and all hills. Fruitful trees and all cedars. The mountains and the hills and all of the trees are praising God. Look at your handout. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 12. We used to sing this. Mm -hmm. Joyce, do you remember? Yep. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands yep. mm -hmm. hallelujah the mountains and the hills they cannot contain themselves so they burst forth into song praising their creator mm -hmm. and the trees they cannot contain themselves and they join in when you see the branches of the trees swaying in the wind back and forth, remember they're clapping their hands, mm -hmm. yep. praising God. Glory, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Psalms 148 verse 10 says, Beasts or animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl. So think about it, think about it, think about it. Verse 9 says the mountains, the hills, all the trees are praising God. And so when the mountains, the hills, and the trees praise God, all the animals say, hey, we want it on this too. We want to praise our Creator too. And you and I, we cannot let the animals and, mm -hmm. and the trees out praise us. Right. We have to join in and give our joyous praise to our maker, our creator also. Verse 11 of Psalms chapter 148. It says, kings of the earth and how many people? Oh. All people. Princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Does that leave anybody out? Mm -hmm. Old men, older women, young women, younger men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the mm -hmm. earth and heaven. He also, verse 14, exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. They are the apple of God's eye. His chosen people, the Jewish people, the children of Israel. And what are they to do? 
Praise, Praise the ye the Lord. Hallelujah. What a glorious chapter of all of God's creation. Praising mm -hmm. God, their creator. Mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 65 and verse 13 says, The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. Mm -hmm. Had you ever thought about that? Hallelujah. As you're yes. driving down the road yes. and you look out your car window <laughs> and you see the fields of corn <laughs> and you see the stalks of corn just swaying back and forth, moving in the breeze. What are, what's those stalks of corn mm. doing? They're shouting and, mm. and singing. They are shouting for joy, praising the Lord, their creator. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. I taught this, this psalm years ago, years ago, years ago. And a lady came up to me at the end of the teaching. And she said, I depend on my corn crop every year for the extra money I need to pay my year-end bills, my, my insurance, my house insurance, my car insurance, and my taxes that come to you at the end of the year. She said, I depend on my corn crop for that extra income, my monthly little retirement checks not enough to pay all of my end of the year bills she said i depend on that corn crop every year for the money that i need but she said it's been so dry this year my corn's not doing well my corn crop it looks like the corn is going to die in the field she said it looks like i'm not going to make anything on that corn field this year she said would you pray for me so we prayed and agreed read using this verse mm. and when harvest time came this little elderly lady came <laughs> running up to me and she said even though it was dry this year she said I made three times as much corn mm. as my neighbors did on their corn fields mm. she said every time I looked out my window or every time I was outside in my yard and looked at that corn I said Lord that corn out in the field is praising you and I'm joining in with that corn I praise you Lord she said I praise God every time I looked at that corn and she said I said thank you Lord for an abundance of corn this year in my field and she said, I got it. I made three times as much corn on my field as my neighbors did all in all their fields surrounding my field. Three times as much in the same area, same amount of rain, same corn planted, same type of earth, and hers produced three times as much. Why? Because she joined in with that corn, praising and worshiping God. She said, God, that corn's praising you, and I'm joining right in with it. I'm thanking you for an abundance of a, a, a good corn crop this year. And she got it. Hallelujah. When you stand on the word, the word yeah. works. Hallelujah. Now let's cover another wonderful passage of scripture on creation, praising God. First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 23 through 34. It's a little lengthy, but it's worth it. First Chronicles 16, verses 23 down through 34. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Shew or show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen. That's the ungodly, the unsaved. His marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods, little g, all of the other little gods, idol gods, the God of gods is to be feared. He is to be 
treated with reverence and respect above all of the other types of idol gods. For all of the gods, little g, of the people are what? Idols. But the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his presence place. Given to the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Given to the Lord, glory and strength. Given to the Lord, the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, the Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out. The trees out in the forest are going to sing out at the presence of the Lord. Why? Because he cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. What a wonderful passage. Here again we have recorded in the scriptures about God's children, about heaven, about earth, and about the sea praising God. We see the fields are rejoicing and the trees are singing for joy before the Lord their creator. Hallelujah. Yes. Just think about all of the things in creation that we've read about. Just in these few scriptures, and there are so many more scriptures. But think about all of these things in, in creation that we've covered that God mentions individually, that praises Him, that gives honor to Him, that magnifies Him. We've talked about... And I put it, I listed it in your handout so you wouldn't have to try to write down all the references again. We've talked about in Psalms chapter 148 verses 3 through 6, the sun, the moon, the stars, the heavens of heavens and the waters that are above the heavens up in the atmosphere that fall down to water the earth. They are praising God. Verse 7, all of the fish all of the creatures in the lakes and in the seas are giving praise unto the Lord. Psalm 69 verse, verse 34 says, Heaven and earth, the seas, and everything that is in them are doing what? Praising God. God, their creator. Think about the seas roaring in praise to their creator. That's probably why you love the ocean and the mm -hmm. beach so much. You you see the waves mm -hmm. coming to shore, and you can we can hear with our natural ears those waves crashing mm -hmm. against the rocks or coming and hitting the the sand on the seashore. And what is what's the sea doing? It's praising mm -hmm. and worshiping its creator, and all of the fish swimming in the ocean is praising and worshiping God, their creator. Psalms 98 verse 7, think about the seas roaring in thunderous praise to their creator. Psalms 98 verse 8, the floods clap their hands in thunderous applause. It does kind of sound like, mm -hmm. sound like yep. the, the, the waves coming into shore, the tide rolling in, which especially if it's hitting up against rocks, mm -hmm. slapping up against the rocks, it does kind of sound like hands yeah. clapping, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what that's what the water is doing. Those waves coming to shore, those waves hitting the rocks on on the shore. They. The floods, the waters, they're clapping their hands in thunderous applause under their creator. Psalms 148 verse 9. The mountains and the hills, they are rejoicing and they're praising their creator. Psalms chapter 148 verse 10 tells us that all of the animals, 
the cattle, the creeping things, the th animals that crawl on the ground, and all of the flying fowl, all the types of birds flying in the air. They are praising God. We hear the birds singing, don't we? Mm -hmm. Early yes. in the morning, we hear them chirping. They're praising God because they know God's mm -hmm. going to provide their breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He knows that God's yeah. going to provide them a juicy worm to eat. So they're just <laughs> praising God in advance. They're singing for their breakfast, dinner, and supper. Mm -hmm. Praising God. Because they don't, they don't toil. They don't spend. They don't worry. They just praise their God because God's going to feed them every day. Yes. In Psalm 65, verse 13, all of the flocks in the fields, all the animals out in the fields, the cattle, the sheep, all of the types of the animals in the fields, the horses, and they are rejoicing. And even the valleys, even the mm -hmm. grass, even the hills they are rejoicing and the cornfields are shouting for joy. for joy they are singing unto the lord psalm 65 verse 13 all of god's creation everything living praises and worships the lord all of the trees of the field clap their hands as they sway back and forth their branches swaying in in the wind they are clapping their hands clapping those branches together singing out praises unto god psalms chapter 55 verse 12 all of heaven is praising and worshiping God. And all of God's creation down here on earth is praising and worshiping God. Think about the trees of the field. I will never forget this. I know I'm going to take one minute and tell you a story. Probably 30 years ago, I was in a meeting where this prophetess of God this woman who was called to be a prophetic voice she spoke thus saith the lord and it came to pass and she told about a cataclysmic event that was going to happen years before it happened and she prophesied it she spoke it and she said thus saith the lord this event is going to happen here whatever region of, of the world that she prophesied that it was going to take place just it was like a, a major earthquake just a major major catastrophe and the somebody asked her how did you know that was going to happen how did you know that was going to take place she said the trees of the field told me she said i was out for a leisurely stroll walking in the woods and she said my spiritual ears opened up and the trees were swaying back and forth in the breeze and she said i heard this, the trees talking to one another and the trees were talking about this event that was going to happen and she said the trees told me and when she said that chills ran from the top of my head down to the soles of my feet and I said God you are so awesome you told the trees and yeah. the trees told her and you opened her spiritual ears to be able to hear what the trees were saying and it came to pass that cataclysmic event came to pass at the exact time that this prophet mm. of God spoke and said, Thus saith the Lord, this event is going to take place. I forgot what, what city she said. Because yeah. it's been so many years ago. But she said, the trees told me. And mm. every time I read mm. about the trees of the field rejoicing, clapping their hands, singing praise, I think about that. Mm. The trees have a voice. Mm. They speak. Speak if we could only hear what they're saying. So not only is everything down here on the earth and the heavenlies mm -hmm. above the atmosphere praising God, but in heaven, all of heaven is erupting in continuous praise to their creator. We read it in the very beginning. Let's read it 
One more time, Psalms chapter 148, verses 1 through 2. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise ye Him, all His angels. Praise ye Him, all His hosts. All of heaven is erupting in continuous praise unto God the Father, their Creator, and unto Jesus the Son. Let's read the, the scripture in Revelation 4, 8 through 11. Let's look at it one last time. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. The four beasts, the living creatures, what do they do? They don't rest. They do it continually. And if they were in our time frame, it would be 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All of these Four living creatures, they rest not day and night. What are they doing? They're saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. God always was. He always existed. He is in existence now. And He is coming again. Jesus, our bridegroom, is coming again. Verse 9, And when those beasts or living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to Him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before Him that sat on the throne and worship Him that liveth forever and ever and cast or lay their crowns before the throne saying, What are they saying? Thou art worthy, O Lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things why and for thy pleasure they are and were created hallelujah if the creation down here on earth and if all of heaven if the angels and the created beings and the host in heaven the saints of God up in heaven if all of those are praising God why don't we join Amen. in this heavenly song of praise and worship to our creator our Lord our King why don't we join in with them and say holy 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 Lord God Almighty which which was and is and is to come. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Hallelujah! Glory, glory. to God! Yeah. We praise You, Lord. Ooh, we yeah. praise You, Hallelujah. our Creator. You spoke glory. and we were created. Yes. All creation came into existence when you, you spoke Lord. and said let there be mm -hmm. and we join in with yes. the, the angels in heaven and with the living creatures and we say holy holy holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God, God Almighty hallelujah we give yes. you praise, praise we you give Lord. you praise we hallelujah. give you praise we Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, glory and honor. Thou art worthy, O Lord. That's verse 11. Sing it again. For Thou hast created, hast all things created, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are created. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Yes. That's verse 11. 
Go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before us. There'll be shouts of joy and all the fees, trees of the field will clap, will clap their hands. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands, clap their hands. Clap their hands and all the trees of the field will clap their hands as we go out with joy. Yeah.